Welcome back everyone, this is Halo Reach Tutor. I've got another gameplay video for you. This time I'm playing Slayer Pro on the map Pinnacle and the very first thing I'm going to do is show you where the rocket launcher spawns. So pay close attention. You want to take a leap of, of faith off the ledge here. They spawn down below. My teammate picked them up so I follow him through the teleporter and before you know it he's blown himself to bits. So I grab the shotgun, grab the rocket launcher and we're off, we're good to go. Now Pinnacle is so much fun because there are so many power weapons on this map. You've got two sniper rifles, a shotgun, and a rocket launcher. I'm going to show you where they all are. You've already seen the uh, the rocket launcher. You've seen the shotgun spawn. I'm going to show you where the two sniper rifles spawn in a moment. Make sure you watch the entire video all the way through because there's going to be some really sweet uh, sniper shots towards the end, including a, an incredible no-scope. Okay, so this little area over here is really one of my favorite areas, uh, just at the base of the ramp. Let me show you where the sniper rifle spawns. It's right here. So I've got the rocket launcher, the shotgun, and the sniper rifle. My pick of, en of, of weapons. Now a power weapon is any weapon that can dispatch your enemy with a single shot. Okay, So things like the rocket launcher, shotgun, and sniper rifle are considered power weapons, and those are the ones available on this map. Now, uh, this little ramp here, you can see that uh, the top of the ramp has, is protecting my back, so I'm not going to get sniped from the other side of the map. Also, players coming up the ramp up here are going to have a difficult angle to get to me quickly if I'm on the ramp. Okay? I choose not to provide any support to my teammate right there because I didn't want to blow him to bits with my rocket launcher and betray him. I see another red player coming up, and as soon as he comes around the corner, it's toast. Right now, keep in mind the rocket launcher has tremendous splash damage, so it is going to. Uh, you don't need a direct hit to finish your enemies off. If you just get in the general vicinity, you're going to be just fine. So now I've got the sniper rifle. I come up to the top of the ledge here. And I'm hoping to lay a few shots on any uh, player foolish enough to walk through the satellite dish. I'm a little concerned about being uh, bombarded up there, ambushed. So I jumped down where the rest of my teammates are, but it didn't really help. So anytime you uh, are killed with a power weapon, you want to run back and try to recover it if possible. So that's what I do here. I come back to uh, recover my sniper rifle. I'm able to do so. I'm going to check for the rockets to see if they've respawned. Since they have not, I'll just go through the teleporter. Keep in mind that the teleporter only works in one direction. You can go from the rocket spawn to the shotgun spawn, but not vice versa. Okay. Now this building over here is a popular place for uh, players to uh, you know, kind of uh, hide out. So I'm going to go the other way because I see that my teammate had that uh, that little base over there hold it, hold down. Uh-oh. Check your six, buddy. That's one thing. When you're playing uh, Slayer Pro, you do not have the benefit of the radar system. That can be kind of tricky. It takes some getting used to, but you need to uh, make sure that you're always conscious of your six, or in other words, checking behind you. Okay. So if you were thinking about uh, a clock, and uh, you know the number 12 is ahead of you, the number 6 is directly behind you. So you always want to check your 6 when you don't have the radar. You want to check behind you so you don't get uh, easily assassinated. Okay. So here I come back up to this tower. I'm hoping to uh, lay a headshot on this guy and I swear I was robbed there that was a headshot if I ever saw one and um, before I can finish him off my teammate betrays me for whatever reason oh well so uh, we respawn and we uh, continue forth I head back for the rockets again I'm really hoping to catch him over here because they're such a terrific weapon you saw me really uh, go to work with them before can't find him so uh, decide to go for the shotgun instead which is just fine it's a terrific weapon Come over here to give my teammate a little bit of support. I'm able to avenge his death and uh, polish off this red player before I'm uh, killed myself. So 
So let me tell you a little bit about the map pinnacle in general, give you a few tips here. The, the center of the map is what I like to call the satellite dish and the outskirts of the map are, are different walkways and, and uh, buildings if you, could, if you could call them that, okay? Uh, there's not much to them. You want to make sure to stick to the outer walkways and uh, these, these uh, small buildings here. You don't want to spend any time out in that satellite dish because it's a very dangerous area. You'll, you'll see that I don't go into the satellite dish. I choose to walk around. I use the teleporter if necessary. Um, in this case, I check for the rocket launcher. It's not there, so I decide I'm going to walk around or rather sprint. Now, you can see these walkways are still very exposed. It's easy to be sniped out here, so you have to be careful. But still, players are not keeping uh, as close of an eye on these walkways as they keep on the, uh, the satellite dish area, okay? So there's a much safer route to take to go around the edges. I was hoping to recover my shotgun that I lost over here, but it disappears just before I can get to it. So I decide to head to the top and see if I can lay a few shots out there with my uh, DMR. You'll see that I switch immediately to the sticky grenades as soon as I pick them up, and I'll tell you why. The sticky grenades are uh, slightly more powerful than the frag grenades in terms of their explosion. They have a larger explosion that causes more damage, so anytime you're carrying both grenades, you want to go with the stickies uh, as your default unless you know for a, a fact that you want to use those uh, frag grenades to bounce off something. Let me show you where the sniper rifle spawns. As I check my six here, I want to make sure nobody's coming up the ramp. The sniper rifle is just down below, so I'm going to pop down here and scoop it up. It's right down in this corner. Of course, this is a lousy place to snipe from. You have no angle at all, so I'm going to come back up to the top of the tower. The only thing you have to be careful about in this tower is being ambushed because, um, you know, Players are going to want to come up around and, and get you, so I'm checking this walkway over here. I don't see anybody coming, so I decide to uh, snipe over to the other side, get a nice revenge, avenge, and double kill. Trouble is, the red players know exactly where I'm at, so they're going to be coming for me, and I'll show you exactly why I switched to the sticky grenade. Oh, did you see that, folks? I get a nice sticky metal as well as another double kill. So again, I'm checking this ramp, making sure nobody's coming for me. I've got my eye on the satellite dish, this walkway, the opposing base over there. Just trying to keep my eyes open for any opportunity. Again, when you have the sniper rifle, uh, it's foolish to just run into battle. What you want to do is look for long-range targets if possible. So here I'm checking my six, making sure nobody's coming from behind. You don't want to worry about being assassinated while you're sniping. Get a great killing spree there, nice headshot. Stay tuned folks, you're going to see a real sick no scope. Oh, did you see that? That's the highlight of the game right there guys. Real nice no scope. Try to pull it off one more time here. Getting fancy, it doesn't work, I get a double beat down. He ends my spree. Not bad though. Nice little uh, six kill spree there. So again, I'm checking for a power weapon. I don't want to go running uh, out in the middle of that uh, in the, on the map. You're much better to uh, stick to the outskirts. I grab the shotgun here and it's going to come in handy right away. Get my revenge on this guy. I saw a red player running up towards this base, so I'm going to see if I can catch up to him, but I think that my teammates have finished him off before I could get there. Now one last time, I'm going to go back to my sweet spot uh, near the bottom of this ramp. Um, I'm going to check for the rockets. Uh, of course, they still aren't there. Just my luck. Um, this uh, little sweet spot just at the, the base of this ramp, again, it's very difficult for the red team to get to you, but you're able to fend them off with grenades or other weapons very easily. That's all the tips I have for you today, folks. I've showed you the location of both sniper rifles, the uh, rocket launcher, and the shotgun. You can see how powerful those weapons can be and how devastating uh, it can be for, for your opponents. This is Halo Reach Tutor signing out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.